have been fascinated by his work since I first went to Botero's homeland, Colombia. Este es un fragmento del documental de Big Fat Art of Fernando Botero, que se exhibió al público londinense como el abrebocas, para inaugurar la exposición El Circo, que se exhibe a partir del 3 de marzo y hasta el 8 de abril en la Galería Thomas Gibson Fine Art. Durante la muestra del documental, el maestro respondió a algunas preguntas, unas de ellas relacionadas con su estilo y motivos de inspiración a la hora de crear sus obras. Why Abu Ghraib? What inspired you to work on that series? Well, uh, as as many people in the world felt, you no, know, I was angry with the hypocrisy of the policy in Abu Ghraib because. The United States were torturing people in the same place where Saddam Hussein was doing this atrocity against the Iraqi people. You know, a country that presents itself as a model of compassion and, and defense of civil rights, a civilized country doesn't have the right to do what they did. Then I was uh, angry, I was upset like so many people in the world. And finally, one day I was in a plane reading again about, about these atrocities. And I took paper and pencil, I started making some sketches. Then when I came to my studio in Paris, I kept working. And for 14 months, I didn't stop. I, I was working and obsessed the day and night with this and feeling, feeling in peace with myself. The more I worked, the more I felt in peace with myself. And I produced like 80 oil paintings. and. And 60 drawings, something very, a very large production, larger than I usually do, uh, because I was, uh, let's say, como obsessed with this situation. Como dijo Carlos Vive, gracias Colombia por Juanes. Tenemos que decir también gracias Colombia por Botero. La presentación de él fue muy natural, y igual pues que todas sus obras. Eh, muy expresivas y creo que es pues una parte de Colombia alrededor del mundo nuevamente. El arte es maravilloso y pues esto es un regalo realmente para todos los que amamos el arte y amamos a Colombia. Es un súper honor escuchar y ver la realidad de Colombia a través de sus ojos. Parte del documental me pareció interesante, pero otra parte me parece un poco fuerte con el tema colombiano. Eh, me gustó mucho también eh, la, la, la postura del maestro hablando sobre sí mismo y y sobre las circunstancias que rodean todos los, los hechos en Colombia alrededor del mundo. Un orgullo que se debería repetir más a menudo. Latin TV habló con Thomas Gibson, dueño de la galería, que invitó al maestro Botero a exhibir la colección El Circo. Gibson opina sobre su mirada que el público inglés da al arte de Botero y hace una ubicación del maestro en la historia. I think that, that there is interestingly in England, a kind of inverse snobbism about Botero. Um, for instance, people say, oh, he's a painter of fat people. Well, well, he's not actually the painter of fat people. It's just a way he expresses his art. Happens to be volumetric figures. Now, one of my great heroes is Alberto Giacometti. Alberto Giacometti did very, very, very thin figures, and nobody said, Oh, he paints thin people. But volumetric people, large people represented, usually indicates to people that it's something almost joyous or frivolous in a way. Large is frivolous. Big people are jolly people. And the fact of the matter is that it, it's not true. And if you look at the Abu Ghraib pictures, They're absolutely astonishingly terrifying, the Abu Ghraib pictures. And I think those pictures, first of all, they will go down with, uh, with uh, Goya's Civil War paintings and Picasso's Guernica. And I think when people saw those pictures, they, uh, me included, by the way, had an enormous influence on how we relook at Fernando's pictures. I mean, and then we realize that he makes enormous social commentary, not only about Colombia, but other parts of the world. And they're not necessarily fat, and they're not happy. Actually, if you look at a lot of his bordello scenes, you see that actually 
neither the men or the women are very happy in that situation. I think personally that, that Fernando Botero will go down uh, in history uh, along with such great British painters as Francis Bacon and Lucian Freud. And as I say, I hope and I think that the Abu Ghraib pictures will teach people to re-look at his art and realize that it's, it's not flippant at all, it's not formulaic, but it is enormous and very interesting social commentary on either a society or more generally about what is happening in the world today.